If I tap on this button in the middle on the left here, I can enter the performance area, and when I do that these four new sections appear to me. At the top is the file and sound browser. So in this section here, I can view all the kits that I have installed on my app. I've got acoustic kits, electronic kits, and so on. And within each one, I also have individual sounds. Here are my kick sounds. There are also various different libraries you can look at. At the moment, I'm looking at my NI Factory Sounds library. This button here would contain all the samples I'd recorded myself. And this button here, if I tap on it, shows me my iTunes library, so I could import songs and other sounds directly from iTunes on my iOS device. If I move down a little bit further, on the left here, I come to the Performance Controls area. Set the different performance parameters for the pads and the notes. So I can set a default velocity, or I can play in real time like that. My next tab down is my sample record and edit section. My machine is sample based, so the notes that it plays, whether they be on a keyboard or on the pads, are made of samples. And I can record my own sample, we'll see that later. I can edit existing samples, and I can tweak my samples by tuning them. And I can also do things like I can give colors to my pads. The final option here is the pattern section. And this is where I will control how my pattern is created. I can erase notes, I can double up, I can control the patterns in my scenes and things like that. Down at the bottom is my mixer. Fairly straightforward, a couple of send effects per instrument, four instruments and levels, and mute controls for each of the four instruments. If I go back into my performance section, again here, I can tap on the different instruments to move between them.